What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about some up and coming, well I guess something we knew was going to happen anyway. The new PlayStation VR headset. Yes I said new. We kind of figured uh, and it happens usually that way that early adopters buy the, the base model and there are soon a newer model released and this goes for everything with improvements and streamlined and PlayStation VR really could have used it. I knew it was going to happen, you knew it was going to happen, and now Sony has officially announced a new PSVR model. I'll drop a link in the description. New PlayStation VR headset model announced. Here's what's changed for PlayStation 4 owners. Sony has announced a new model of its PSVR virtual reality headset. It doesn't have any new headline features, but it does contain a number of small enhancements to help improve the overall experience of playing in VR. Firstly, Sony says the new model features, quote, an updated design that enables the stereo headphone cables to be integrated with the VR headset and a slimmer, streamlined connection cable, end quote. In addition, the headset's processor unit now supports HDR pass-through, meaning you don't need to disconnect the unit, which lies between the PSVR and your TV, to enjoy HDR-enabled content on your TV. Sony notes that this feature can only be used when the VR headset is switched off. Sony has not yet shared the release date of the new CUH ZVR2 model, but it has confirmed pricing will remain the same. It also said PSVR's packaging would change to allow consumers to distinguish between the new version and the old CUH ZVR1 model. All PSVR games will be playable on both versions. It's not yet clear whether the new model will come to Europe and Australia. Sony's announcement blog only mentions North America and no such announcements have been made on Sony's European or Australian channels. Alright, so this is actually pretty good news. Uh, I actually didn't know about the HDR effect of PSVR. I've been thinking that I'm getting the full effect of my HDR enabled uh, 4K TV. So now I know I need to turn that off and disconnect the pass through. But this is good news. Uh, it's always good to see technology move forward. I think VR is an incredible thing. Uh, for those who haven't used it, you definitely got to experience it. No one can really explain to you what it's like to put on a headset and be inside of a game. With that being said, a $400 PSVR bundle sounds really awesome. It comes with move controllers, comes with a camera now, and it's really everything you need. A more streamlined product, and who knows how long it'll be until they can up resolution and things like that. But overall, I'm really pleased with it. I think that um, I think VR is going in the right direction, and of course, PlayStation is steamrolling its competition when it comes to the VR space. You guys let me know if you have PSVR, if you have Oculus or HTC Vive, and if you're considering getting VR. I think everyone who's a hardcore gamer or people who really want to experience gaming in a different way should definitely pick up PlayStation VR, or at least one of the, the other gaming headsets available for PC. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I just want to bring you guys this latest news on PlayStation VR. A new model has been announced. No release date just yet, but I will keep you guys posted on the channel. Thank Thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up to show support for my channel i'm the beastly gamer and i'll see you guys next time